Hey guys, it's Ivy, and today I am going to be doing a review slash comparison about nail polish strips, which have been really, really popular. I'll be past. featuring three different um, nail that's six, but whatever. Three different types and brands of nail polish strips. They are the NCLA nail polish strips, the Sally Hansen Salon Effects nail strips, and then lastly, which I don't have with me, the Incoco nail products nail polish strips. You just want a quick short statement. Overall, I would recommend the In Coco nail polish strips. I would say probably my least favorite. For me, personally, I didn't like the Sally Hansen one as much as everybody else on YouTube seemed to, so I would say this is my least favorite. Oh. Um, um, let's start with the NCLA one. The major difference about this is that these are not real nail polish. First of all, it is good because you can stretch it infinitely to fit your nails and it will not break. The major pro about this, overall, the application of these strips are the easiest out of all three. It took me literally like five minutes. It was so easy, and the fit was just so perfect. Like, it literally fitted my nails so, 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 so well. I love, love how these fit. Thinking about cons, um, the major one is that these are not real polish strips, which means that they cannot be removed with nail polish remover. And on here, the instruction is to just pull them off when you want to remove them. And that is so, so, so damaging, especially since this one in the instructions tells you to apply a base and top coat. The other two does not mention that, even though I know a lot of people do it anyway. When you rip it off, that's just a whole layer of your nail. It's like peeling off nail polish, which is so bad, but I do it a lot anyways. Um, but it's so, so, so bad for your nails. I was so happy about these when I first put them on and the application was a breeze. But when I took them off, they left dents in my nails and my nails just looked really bad because they were not the surface flat. was all, not bumpy, but you know, backwards bump, like dense. Um, so that was the major flaw in this for me. Um, These are a great value. I believe they are around $16 and they come with two sheets that are enough for two different uses. So I've already used one and I still have a full because sheet. these are not real polished strips, they will not dry out. See, this is the sheet that I use. So really, you can kind of use this like four times. But these, it's such a pity because I love these so much otherwise for the and the application. But speaking of a staying power, these don't stay very long. I mean, I had them on my nails for like a week and a half and they still look pretty good. But the thing is, like the day after, they start to like not even chip, but like curl up. They're like a fiber kind of material. So they just start to like curl up and like break. Um, so it's nothing too obvious, but that is one thing that I noticed is kind of annoying about Next these. Next one is the Sally Hansen Salon Effects nail polish strips, which are probably the most talked about. Um, and these are in Spring Fever. And I got these for $3.50 on clearance at Target. I would not buy them full price whatsoever. That's just so expensive. So these are what they look like. They are flowers. And you will not guess how many compliments I've received on this. For the a week and a half, almost two weeks, I've had these on. Um, I've just gotten so many compliments on them. But as you can see, there's barely any chips, like literally. On the top, there's barely any chips at all. But as you can see, my nails have grown out quite a bit. So I've had these on for a very, very long time. And they are definitely a plus, plus, plus in stain power. However, the major flaw in this is that they are super, super, super fragile. Like just the slight pull will break it. So it is so hard to get them to fit perfectly into your nails into your nails, onto your nails. And as you can see, there are huge gaps, like huge, huge gaps. They just don't, don't fit well. Like from far away, they look great, but they just fit, the fit is horrible, at least for my nails. Um, but the application process, this was the most like hassled one. Um, and the NCLA one was the most hassle free one. So this one was just way too much work. And it was just like, I ripped it, I had to redo it. It was just, too much work and that is why I don't recommend this and I just wanted to add that I absolutely absolutely do not recommend these strips they are such a pain to remove and they're just such a hassle you would not imagine how long and how much nail polish remover it took me to remove it I will talk about it more in the bottom bar However, out of the three if I had to choose one I would choose the Incoco one because that one although it doesn't fit as great as the NCLA ones it is a better fit compared to these. Um, those are, I believe, around the same price range as these as well. 
Um, so that's price-wise, they're similar. But the Encoco ones are less fragile than these and they can be stretched out a little bit more than how these can Overall, be. Overall, the process was smoother than the Sally Hansen ones. So that's why if I had to pick one, I would recommend that one. But honestly, out of all three of these, I still have not found my perfect nail polish strips. Um, maybe I just ought to try them more than once or just try some other brands. But so far, I'm not really... Nail polish strips aren't really cutting it for I me. would recommend the Encoco one if I had to choose one between the three of these that I'm reviewing today. So that is my thoughts on the nail strips, uh, three different nail strips. I hope that this was helpful to you, yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.